Colossal Biosciences just announced that they re resurrected the dire wolf from extinction. But did they really? It, are they really dire wolves? Khaleesi the dire wolf? It sounds like a marketing ploy to me. Is this more about science or more about profit? Let's check it out. Dire wolves once roamed all over the Pleistocene landscape, hunting megafauna like woolly mammoths, rhinoceros, big animals. So these are big predators. They're not just giant gray wolves. So dire wolves actually diverged from the other canids about 5.7 million years ago. So they were very genetically distinct. In fact, dire wolves are as distant from gray wolves as coyotes and jackals. Is Colossal never cloned a dire wolf, even though all their marketing, the Time Magazine article, all that stuff made it seem as if they had accomplished that. What they actually did is they made 20 tweaks, the 14 genes, to make gray wolves seem more dire-like. And, you know, while that's cool and all, that's so neat that they actually accomplished this genetic engineering. It's not resurrecting the dire wolf. So true de-extinction of the dire wolf would require resurrecting, resequencing the entire dire wolf genome, which is something Colossus simply hasn't done. They've never accomplished this. No one has ever accomplished this. So there hasn't been a true de-extinction of the dire wolf. But why all the hype about this supposed dire wolf? So what are the goals of Colossus with this publicity around the de-extinction of the dire wolf? Well, profit. They, they're a publicly traded company. They're raising millions of dollars from investors to resurrect species like the dire wolf, the woolly mammoth, the dodo. But is this really groundbreaking science or entertainment? Another thing to consider are the possible ethical and ecologic consequences of the de-extinction of a creature like the dire wolf. The ecologic consequences can be that you are resurrecting a creature that went extinct and now you're introducing it into a modern ecosystem. It's essentially an introduced species. And with many introduced species, they cause damage to a native ecosystem. And if we consider the ethical considerations, dire wolves went extinct because their prey megafauna during the Pleistocene went extinct along with them. So if you introduce a creature that is dependent on large megafauna that don't exist, what's the purpose? Look, I think genetic science is absolutely incredible and it can benefit us and the natural world in so many ways. It can help us conserve species right now that are in trouble. So why are we spending money and time and resources to resurrect a species that went naturally extinct thousands of years ago when we could be using this time, this effort, and this brain power to conserve the species that we have now that are in trouble? So what do you think? Is this real science or is this corporate hype for profit? I think it's pretty obvious. I think it's corporate hype for profit and it's not real. It's a marketing stunt. But tell me what you think. Leave a comment, a suggestion, a gripe below. Let me know. And I'm trying to get more comfortable on camera. So excuse my mush mouth. I have it really bad. I get too excitable when I see my face on a screen. But I'll try to get better and I'll see you later.